So a while ago I teared that Western Digital My Passport hard disk down. If you remember, if not, card link. Um, yeah, that was a, a four gigabyte, a terabyte model with, a, I don't know if I have, yeah, with four platters in it. Um, yeah, anyway, I have two more Western Digital hard disks, 2.5 inch, two terabytes to tear down. They are also gone. And the interesting thing is, one is marketed as Western Digital Elements and the other as My Passport. Interesting thing is, they are for all intents and purposes, absolutely identical. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> the last move didn't work, did it? Um, yeah, you can have a look on the part numbers for those who are interested. I won't read them out. Yeah, um, so it would be interesting to see if there's really hardware-wise absolutely no difference between the My Passport and the Elements and it's all in the additional software or if there is indeed a difference or several differences. We'll see. I will try to keep the elements parts on uh, yeah, your right and the passport parts on the left. So um, yeah, again, my <clears throat> brief opener. Uh, yeah, I guess here goes nothing. Oh yeah. That seems to work quite easily. That was uh, really easy. Okay, elements and out comes a hard disk with integrated USB 3.0 interface on the controller board. Yeah. And it's a Western Digital 20 NMVW, not for resale. Okay, I mean the case, uh, let's forget about that for a moment. Let's open up the passport which should work exactly the same. Yep. Okay, broke something off there. Oh. <clears throat> no user maintainable parts inside. So uh, yeah, the hard disk and uh, yeah, you can see that it's exactly the same hard disk inside. So there are absolutely no differences between the passport and the elements. Um, yeah, at that point, I guess um, I can put one or the other to the side and uh, we can tear that thingy here down. So let's first get the board off. That should be pretty easy. 
just a few screws. Oh, that is new. So, yeah, I don't think the newer generation <coughs> had that foamy stuff. Yeah, look at the old video. Um, everything else seems pretty the same. So, um, the contacts for the spindle motor and for the head assembly here um yeah you don't stick any flat flex cable into some connectors it's all press on yeah the rest i mean yeah we looked into it this is all is it the chips on it. Okay, Samsung, that's obviously cache memory. I have no idea what that thing here is. Hmm. This should be probably... Yeah, that's a uh, Western Digital custom job well some power tranny or something cannot really read it yeah a lot of passives and yeah here we have something else Uh, and yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, so really, <clears throat> nothing new here. Um, yeah, I will get that sticker off because there might be. A screw hidden under it. No, it's actually only the a seal around the axle here of the spindle. So, yeah, let's pop the top open and I will also remove all the stickers or oh, the one big sticker last time I missed some screws and uh, yeah it took me a while <laughs> to get it open that's the head assembly here well, there are a lot of screws So here's the motor spindle. Ah, now that screw is coming off. And yeah, up, up to now we have actually, yeah, they are all, yeah, two different lengths. Okay. So a little bit different I think the head magnet the top magnet just lifted out yep and then should be able after removing 
this little part here to lift the head out. Hmm. Oh, forgot a screw. Yeah, that always happens. So the head assembly, that might be interesting. Is really only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads. Or is it even less? No, there's a head. There's a head, there's a head, there's a head, there's a head, there's a head. There's a, oh, and there's a head. Okay, so eight heads. So probably. Sorry, focus down again. So probably <clears throat> four platters. And this is eight heads, four platters, and the old model with four terabytes is also four platters. So yeah, they basically doubled the capacity. Okay, now I got it. So nothing new here. Spacer, platter, another spacer. And I don't think we need that plastic thingy here anymore. Just take it out. If I can. Obviously not, so come on, air filter or oh, not air filter. This is uh, actually here in the corner to catch any sputter uh, of dirt that is in here. Okay, next platter. Next spacer. Next platter. Spacer platter. And that's the spindle motor and it's pressed in. And I tried to get it out the last time and I uh, just killed the case. So yeah. Then we have the bottom magnet of the spindle assembly, which should come out after we lose that screw. Yep. And the plastic part for the park position of the heads where they can park in when the drive is not in use. And yeah, uh, I mean, this is obviously, hmm, four coils. No idea. Maybe we should measure that just for fun. So I would suspect that to be a BLDC motor, but we see they have these nice contact pads here. 1 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, okay. Three point three. 3.3, so 3.3, yeah, we already had that. Okay, so uh, this is a BLDC motor and the coils should be in the following um, 
uh, yeah, I get a paper. So it's a brushless BLDC motor. Uh, why they say DC, I don't know, because you have to feed it with three-phase, in that case a three-phase AC, because we have a three-phase motor here. So we have one coil and a center tap and another coil and a third coil. And this is always... Um, 300, 120 degrees offset. And okay, these are the other connections and the center tab comes out too. These were our four connections. Yeah, nothing special here. Um, but you have to feed that with a three-phase AC. That's why I never understand they call it a brushless DC motor when you have to feed it with AC. So uh, yeah, you know normal AC just uh, one phase, something like that. And then you would need uh, 180 degrees, okay, please forgive me, uh, three more phases. Yeah, I probably don't uh, get it right, but uh, yeah, for each of your coil. And um, yeah, that's obviously done by the electronics and yeah, so BLDC, whatever. Almost forgot about the rubber bumpers at the side. And yeah, okay, we have at least two different sizes of screws in that thing. Um, but that's it. Uh, Small one, I guess. Yeah. So it's a little rubber bumpy shock absorbers. But I guess that's it. So that was an unusual short tear down of an older generation Western Digital My Passport 3.5 inch external USB 3 drive, which is incidentally exactly the same as the Western Digital Elements. Uh, yeah, and obviously beside the um, higher density on the platters, nothing has changed to the newer generation of four terabyte my passport drives and uh, I miss the spacer here from the platters so bye